Hi everyone and welcome to the Schoenberg family. Um, it's just me today because Catch is at work and yeah, just wanted to make this video um, because I had a couple of uh, messages um, and when I say a couple, I mean like two people messaged us um, to ask us um, what symptoms um, I had in the two week wait. So, although it was just two people that asked me, um, I feel like I wanted to make this video because I feel like it could help some people out there. And I've also seen other videos um, about the two week wait symptoms. Obviously when I was in mine, I was looking on Google, YouTube, Instagram, anywhere I could to get information to see if my symptoms was matching up to somebody else's symptoms. Um, especially if they got a positive um, pregnancy test at the end. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and, and tell you all my experience and what I felt in my two week wait from the IUI that was successful. Um, basically, I have kept a diary of everything we have done since starting the IUI treatments. Um, I aimed it for the future child to read um, once it finally worked and obviously give it to them when the child is a little bit older. But I also wrote in a lot of the symptoms that I felt and a lot of the emotions that I was going through and just general things like that. So why not share it? Because it's all written here. Um, little disclaimer before I begin, um, it might be a little bit TMI, so it might be a little bit too much information. And if you don't like talking about certain things like um, cervical mucus, uh, periods, uh, bodily functions, all stuff like this, then just switch off because then it's not for you because I will be going into some very graphic details. Also, another disclaimer, just because um, I say that I feel a certain way, um, on certain days doesn't mean to say that that's how other people feel. Um, I was watching many videos and seeing many uh, things about women saying they felt uh, boob pain, they felt pain in their stomach or like they was bleeding or all stuff like this and I was thinking like oh I don't feel like that so I must not be pregnant. Uh, this is not true. Everybody and every woman is totally different. So every pregnancy is just different. So I'm not an expert at all on this. Um, all I can do is share with you what I felt. So we're three minutes in. I will start now. So I will just go straight into it. So we did the insemination. Um, yeah. So we did the insemination, I will jump directly to the next day. So day one past IUI, I had cloudy, I, I'm reading what I've written. I had cloudy, stringy mucus when I woke up. Um, and then in the afternoon, I was totally dry down there. Don't know why I've written that down, but I was, I must have been very dry. Um, I had cramps, so like ovulation cramps, and a slight headache. But this is all usual stuff, which I normally get in my usual cycle. Two days past IOI, I felt two big cramps on the right side of my lower, I would say where my ovaries were. Um, I feel like my period will come and I had a a gulp, sorry, of creamy, watery cervical mucus. Just one, just one like, nope. <laughs> and then later on in the evening, I was dry again. And now I must have been very dry because to notice that I'm dry, well, I must have been very dry <laughs> down there. Three days past IOI, um, very dry. Um, but then I had some like, kind of like ovulation um, discharge came out, like sticky, like like the stretchy stuff, but only very slightly. Um, but this is also usual. Sometimes I do get it like a couple of days after I've ovulated 
and it's like similar but it's like more of a cloudy substance rather than a stringy white yeah you know what I mean four days past IUI very very dry what is going on <laughs> why am I dry I don't know this is what I've written <laughs> um I feel like my period will start and I feel very full in the stomach and it's more like my period will begin um I've written I think this is all in my head it probably is and you know what it probably was because yeah I don't know five days past IUI absolutely nothing didn't feel nothing at all six days past IUI one thing I want to mention is on five days past IUI we actually had to do an extra trigger shot so um, I did one trigger shot on the day of IUI itself like literally 10 minutes after we did the insemination and then I did the second trigger shot on five days past IUI it's called a booster trigger not many people do this but apparently it helps support um, a pregnancy if one is there so we did that again. So of course, from five days past IUI onwards, most of the things I'm feeling could be in relation to the trigger shot that I have taken because it releases the um, HCG pregnancy hormone into my system. So from here onwards, this could have been because it was successful or it could have been because it was the trigger. Who knows? Anyways, let me go on. Six days past IOI, nothing. Very moody, like always. Um, I feel like my period will come. Um, feeling like tingles every so often in my lower abdomen. Um, and I had a very um, dull ache, like under my boobs. So like when I would put my bra on, a sports bra, because that's what I used to wear every single day, I would have like, pain in my ribs don't know seven days past IOI absolutely nothing at all I'm feeling very sad because at that point I just was like waiting for some implantation bleeding or something like this that just never will would come eight days past IOI I remember waking up in the morning and Normally before my period, like a couple of days before my period, my boobs get big. But with the boobs getting bigger, normally they hurt a little bit. And I remember I just literally woke up like I will reenact it now. I went. And the first thing I did was put my hand on my boobs because I just had this presence, this feeling of that my boobs were suddenly Dolly Parton boobs, like absolutely massive. And I, and I normally had um, A or B cup. And I mean, there was like a C, like overnight, just like, but they felt like an E, E cup. And I was like, I had to wake Katya up and say, babe, like my boobs are ginormous. And she had to laugh because for her, they didn't look really any different, but they felt massive. And I had no pain whatsoever. It was just massive, <laughs> massive boobs. Okay, anyways, big boobs when I woke up, that was it. And I had small twinges in the left side of my abdomen. Nine days past IUI, um, I'm feeling like my period will come, um, feeling a little bit sad, and yeah, that was it. <laughs> 10 days past IUI, absolutely nothing, nothing. I was like, please give me a sign, but I had no signs whatsoever. Um, so yeah, that was that was fun. Um, 11 days past IOI, I got in the shower in the evening. Um, and when I got out of the shower, I brushed my teeth. And as I was brushing my teeth, I was like, why are my nipples like so sore? And it was as if I had like scrubbed them or something. It was kind of like a tingle, like a tingly sensation in, in my nipples. And it's like a sensation, 
sensation, which I have never, I've never felt in my life. It's, it was kind of like when you put um, deep heat, you know, this cream for muscles on your skin and it starts to burn a little bit. It was kind of like that and it lasted like five minutes. And I can't remember if I told Katya or not because I, I didn't want to get my hopes up. But also I just I just kind of pushed it to the back of my mind and thought like, ah, it's just tingly nipples. <laughs> I don't know why why I was like oh it's just tingling if I was like I never get this so I don't know anyways 12 days past IUI I felt nothing again like absolutely nothing my boobs were still big but they wasn't hurting I still felt like I don't know like I don't know if it was in my head that I felt like my period would come or it's really hard to find the balance between psychologically what you're thinking and believing to what your body is actually doing. Especially when you want something so, so bad, you can start to imagine everything. Um, slight pains in my uterus at 12 days past IUI when I was trying to go to sleep. So I mean my, my lower stomach, it was like super, yeah, achy, I would say, like a period pain. 13 days past IOI, uh, we got a positive test. And I didn't feel nothing. I felt nothing. So of course I didn't believe it at all. We both didn't believe it because it was like, well, how can I be pregnant? Because I felt absolutely nothing. And it wasn't until um, we got the confirmation from the clinic the next day, so 14 days past the IOI, they called us and they said, you're pregnant. As soon as they said that, I felt everything. My body just went like whoosh. Hormones up, boob pain, belly pain, headache, hot sweats, everything. I had literally everything within a second of them telling me. And I don't know if it was my body just waiting for someone to tell me you're pregnant, that it can go, hallelujah, or... I don't know why. It was just, just just very weird. Anyways, that was my two week wait signs and signs and symptoms. Um, yeah, please don't take everything so um, literally. Like so. Oh, she had uh, this. So this means this. It doesn't mean nothing. Basically, this is just what I felt, and you will maybe feel something else. Some women bleed. Some women have absolutely no idea until they're five months pregnant some of these symptoms will have been because my body was maybe getting ready for the period in the first few days i don't know but i thought it was a fun video to film since i've seen so many of them and i watched so many of them when we was trying to um conceive that i just thought why not do one so i hope you enjoyed it and yeah let me know what you think do i speak too fast I don't know, let me know. Um, are you liking these videos? Shall I carry on? Do you want to see more of Katia? Shall I tell her to come in the videos next time? Let me know down below. Don't forget to um, give us a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, check us out on Instagram and subscribe if you want. And if not, then no worries. We will see you soon. I will see you soon. Auf Wiedersehen und tschüss. Bye.